Hello and welcome back to episode six of uh, my Space Engineers survival let's play. The outer shell is now fully complete, including some emplacements up top for guns, which we'll be doing today. But first things first, that's all pressurized in there, and I don't want to waste the oxygen and have to go get more ice any sooner than I actually need to. So I've got a rudimentary airlock put in here. Got one of uh, one of the uh, offset doors going under the inside, an offset door over here on the outside, an air vent. A button to be able to set that air vent to depressurize and just a catch tank for O2 for the airlock that I'll fill up from the inner O2. Um, actually I don't think there's anything else to build other than this stuff and I'm pretty sure I have the parts for it so build and repair get busy. Build and repair. I turned you on. Let's get in here and look at that. It is on. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab Vint on the planner. Oh, and now you're doing things. And you're starting with the vent, of course. So. Go ahead and get all that back. But yeah, looking through the inside here, it's very dark. So I definitely need to put in lights, which is going to be a bunch of construction components, I'm pretty sure. Let's clean these things up. I also want to put my guns and an antenna up top. I mean, technically speaking, I could put the antenna on the bottom. Actually, that could be an interesting idea. What if I shoot the difference and do it on the bottom of the top? Aha! But let's see. Uh, turret. I'm not going to do any custom turrets on this base. Regular turrets should be fine. I... I am still going to have to go and mine magnesium to get the ammunition, though. Oh, right, I was looking for lights. I always type the S on there, even though I don't need it. Okay, so let's see. The interior lights just need construction components. Same with the uh, corner lights. Light panels need uh, construction components and interior plates. And the inset lights are overall fairly expensive. These are really teeny lights. Not that great, but I do like the looks of them. So mostly we need construction components and some interior plates. So let's go ahead and make 20 more of these and more of those. There we go. 50 and 50. But I should be able to close this now. Wow, it's pretty dark in here too, so... I guess we start off lights in here. Yeah. This will be dusty yellow because technically outside. Well, thank you then. All right, so I can get rid of that. And let's go vent. Uh, airlock vent. Pull that down here, depressurize on and off. 
right now it's on depressurize and that's on pressurized but it has no oxygen so let's like depressurize and get some in there don't really need a lot but we want to make sure that it has enough to fill up the airlock to full there we go so now we can open this door and we're not bleeding any all right so close that up I really think light panels will look good in this room so let's put a light panel there and again up here and there ah and now i'm up at this level so let's go back to the interior lights and just put one of these in each corner of this room and that actually should keep it pretty well lit i forgot to change colors on things i want you to be white and clean thank you I love that telling me exactly where I'm selecting things. Let's see. I didn't put any small tubes in there. I can fix that. But for the meantime, these should be purple and clean. Inset wall diagonal. Oh, that's what I'm using. Okay. That's what I'm walking around with. That makes more sense. All right. So all of these are needing... Well, interior plates. I can get you. And you... Alright, so now I can see, come in here, and I just need, I think the one light for each of these rooms, I remember, uh, helps to remember to switch it back to the white. Anyway, I've already got, uh, all of everything else set up in these rooms for the most part uh, including you know, conveyors connecting what needs to be connected I was wrong every room has at least one thing that needs to be connected vents because that's how I'm getting all of the air throughout all of the base so let's see Oh, I already have those painted uh, properly. Uh, I am going to have to come back through and label all of these and get their light switches set up and everything, but that's not too bad. And right in here. Oops, wrong button. Eight. Sideways. Yeah, I can't bump you into there, so I guess right there you go. And of course, all of these rooms have the offset doors. I really like the offset doors. And this has wound up being quite clean. So I can grab all of the interior lights, except for number one. 
because I know that was the airlock, so I can go ahead and label that. The rest of these. Let's try a radius of seven and an intensity of 3.2. Uh, this looks nice and clean in here now. Plenty bright enough. I still need to set up this room today. Uh, but all these other rooms are pretty well set up. Including nice windows facing out. And a couple of them. My bedroom, the med bay. And my control room so the way I'll be labeling all of these by the way is just sitting here and looking at it with build vision uh, this is interior light number six so I'll come back in light interior light number six this is control room So I'll do that off camera, but just so you know I'm doing that, it's all thanks to Build Vision showing me what block I'm looking at. So now I need to fix all of the light panels. These four uh, want those to have the same seven radius. Uh, intensity of 3.2. I'm not changing their colors yet. Uh, right now I'm just trying to get everything lit up enough. Oh, there's some dark spaces in here, but I think it actually kind of fits. I like it. All right, so go play with the airlock again. There we go. Functions perfectly. All right, so I'm going to need steel for any of the turrets. Thank you, lag. Parallax Eidolon just came in. So let's grab some steel. Well, fortunately, that'll be enough to put them down anyway. So, as you see, I've got seven spaces here. Dusty purple for these, because they are machine outside. So, I'm going to put a Gatling turret on each one of these outer ones. And what do I want to put in on the inner one? Definitely not rockets. Uh, artillery is potentially outside of my ability to set up at this point in time. So let's see, I've got nothing in the build planner, so let's just grab. These four, and that. And now, what I was talking about is, what if I put this, like, under here? How would that look? And let's go ahead and get that on the build planner as well. Drop everything I've got. The build and repair is doing its job. I'm going to come on upstairs. Take off my helmet for the first time since I've been on Mars. That is nice. 
I like being able to breathe. I also got rid of this uh, catwalk I had put up here and put railings around here to keep me from falling down the stairwell. I guess I can close all the doors now. Note, I don't have a vent in the main body itself. I do have to put one somewhere down here. Uh, I was thinking about near here. But I guess that could be rather difficult. Nope, not difficult at all. I can put the vent right there. I just need the right parts real quick, so... And see, I had taken off my helmet. Now I'm killing myself, because that's how it works. Take off your helmet and forget simple things. Let's go to here and get some steel. Just need a little bit. Okay, then right up here, I was going to put a vent. I do like these full block ones. Uh, go for my clean purple. Come all the way back up here. Oh, that is my control room, okay. Uh, what have I got on the planner? So, I already got those started, didn't I? No, I was waiting to hit the button. Okay. So, inventory, hit the button. That's going to take very little compared to what I've got, actually. I am surprised. So, I still have some interior blocks on me. I don't know if that's going to be able to help me out in here much, but certainly want to try. I want the couch set up. I want the console set up because that's where the desks and stuff are and I want the main piece of this room so let's see I want to put that back here see I also don't lose pressurization when I'm breaking into my interior walls here because I have the exterior walls to save me. Let's get rid of all of that so I can add these as I go. Alright, so the couch is going to be interior plates to place. So I'll just get one here and get that. Kind of want a corner couch back here. And I want the inset couch, but not for the couch. It's actually just for the plants. Just for a nice looking thing. So I'll get that on the planner. And I actually don't have room for a little table in here, but I bet I have room for oh, wrong block. a little corner desk. Oh, well, that's the corner console. Uh, 
There we go. And the quarter desk. So there we go. This is the entertainment office. I like it. I'm just going to come into here real quick. Inventory. Add all components. Now I can remove these. And the only other thing that I should do this time around here is add some extra steel to production. Two, three... I didn't get that third. Three, four hundred. Yeah, let's go with five hundred. I still have to finish welding up all of the uh, wind turbine setup. And I'm not sure the build and repair can reach that far, actually. Is there a way I can see how far that can reach? Okay, it has a grind color. I don't really want this grinding. I'm fine grinding. Uh, settings for collecting. Uh, yeah, I like collection. So I'll just leave that. It looks fine. Uh, weld priority. Uh, so I've got it on walk mode. Weld before grind. Uh, actually, I can set that to welding only. Uh, show on HUD, perhaps, would show me everything, but I need the antenna finished first which the build and repair is slow to get to at the moment. So let's take that back off of show on HUD for now. And let's see, the clanging gremlin just spawned in. So I've got the assault turret and two Gatling turrets are completed. Curiosity. What do the ammos cost for those? Assault cannon is iron, nickel, magnesium. And the Gatling ammo is iron, nickel, magnesium. Okay, so wise choice on guns there. I just need to get magnesium. I have been doing most of my flying and going to get boulders and such off camera and I think I'm going to continue that for now because this ship is absolute crap. I need to completely rebuild the ship. Uh, I take back what I said before. It's not functional. It's barely functional. But that would be a much more apt description. <laughs> because I fully filled up the cargo and it took me a kilometer and a half to stop from 30 meters per second. Like this thing is just not functional for what I built it for. And yeah, you know, that happens sometimes. You'll build a ship and you think you've got everything set exactly the way you want it and you don't. All right, so we've got pretty bad storm coming in here. That's nice of it. 
I'm going to go ahead and I think cut the video here. I will add some lighting outside here at some point. But let's see. If you enjoyed today's video, go ahead and hit the like button down below. And if you want to see more of what I get up to in the future, there is always the subscribe button. Until next time, have a good one.